G'day everyone, welcome to ABCPE. This is the site where we try and make VCE physical education as easy as ABC. Tonight we're getting stuck into the acute respiratory responses. Again, good place to start with the key knowledge and key skills. This is what you'll need to know in this area. Okay, it's a pretty important point that we want you to really get uh, your head around is that most acute responses are gonna end up with more oxygen at the muscle. O2 is really important and that's why we've got this part looking after the treasure. The muscles really want this treasure, this gold being the oxygen. We need the oxygen for aerobic ATP resynthesis and the more aerobic ATP resynthesis we can do means we'll be able to run faster for longer. Oxygen being that gold that we are searching for. We'll start off with the, um, I guess the, the bigger ones, the more important ones, increased tidal volume, increased respiratory rate, increased ventilation. Really important you know what these three things are. Uh, tidal volume being the total amount of air moved in and out of the lungs per breath. Um, that's air, not oxygen. Um, respiratory rate is the number of breaths per minute and ventilation is the combination of the tidal volume times respiratory rate. So it's the amount of air breathed in and out per minute. Okay, so what we really want you to do is try and feel this for yourself. So we really encourage you guys to continue to do prax throughout all of the stuff that you're learning in PE this year. So what we want you to do now is we want you to download or have a look at the Smiling Mind app. It's free. And I want you to do a minute's worth of mindfulness or meditation. One, it'll be really good for your health. Two, it'll um, give you a pretty good look at your resting respiratory rate. So after you've done a minute of this mindfulness activity, I want you just to take your um, respiratory rate, which is your number of breaths per minute. You can either do that breathing in and out under your nose or put your hand on your chest and just count those number of breaths per minute. Okay, so that mindfulness and activity was designed to try and relax you and make you pretty chilled out and hopefully you'll get a respiratory rate of about 10 to 12 breaths per minute. That's your resting respiratory rate. Now what I want you to try and do, I want you to do just 10, 20 seconds of exercise. Star jumps, running on the spot, whatever it is. And then do the same activity. Again, count your breaths per minute. Okay, good job. So after you've done that uh, minute or so of exercise, hopefully you found out that your respiratory rate is going to increase. And why does it increase? Well, it increases because as our exercise intensity increases, so we've gone from rest to a sort of moderate high intensity, then we our body's demand for oxygen will also increase. How we meet that demand is we breathe more often, which means we've got a higher respiratory rate or an increased respiratory rate, and we breathe deeper, which means we have an increased tidal volume. And of course, respiratory rate times tidal volume is ventilation. So again, our body helps us get more of this gold into our muscles. Okay, here's just the figures for you. Um, probably the most important one that we're talking about here is this increase in ventilation from rest, six liters, and it goes up to an, a really huge amount of 150 liters per minute when we're doing that intense exercise. So here we have question two from the 2018 VCAR exam. It gives you actually the equation that ventilation is a product of tidal volume respiratory rate, but then you have to discuss the relationship between ventilation and oxygen consumption we're moving from rest to exercising, which is exactly what we did during that prac activity. Have a little crack at this one. Okay, hopefully you picked up that there's that linear relationship between ventilation and O2 consumption. So um, as ventilation increases, so too will oxygen consumption. Um, and this is due to that fact that we have higher oxygen demand when we begin exercises, so that we are going to increase things like respiratory rate, tidal volume, and then ventilation so we can consume more of that oxygen. The next acute respiratory response we want to talk about is diffusion. It's important you know the definition of diffusion. It's molecules. In Basically, in PE's case, we're talking about oxygen and carbon dioxide, and it's these oxygen and carbon dioxide moving from high concentration areas to the low concentration areas. Be really careful that you don't talk about um, muscular diffusion when you're talking about respiratory responses. So if the question asks for a respiratory response, don't talk about diffusion just in general. It's only pulmonary diffusion, which happens between the alveoli and the capillaries because the alveoli is part of the respiratory system. So it comes under the bracket of respiratory responses. 
we've got this um, little di diagram picture here, which is if we've got a high concentration of people, then we want a high concentration of molecules in what we're talking about, then these molecules want to get out into the open air. They want to get out of this high concentration area and into um, a low concentration area. So when we're talking about the lungs, we've got a high concentration of oxygen at the alveoli and the oxygen is going to want to go from the alveoli into the capillaries and then we can get it to the heart and then from the heart to the muscles. As oxygen goes one way, the, the capillaries will be high in CO2, the CO2 will go into the alveoli and then we can eventually breathe it out. So diffusion is always a two-way thing. If one moves one way, something else will move the other way. And what we're talking about is O2 moving into the blood, CO2 moving into the alveoli. Here's a little uh, multi-choice question that might help you out with this. So pulmonary diffusion is B, the exchange of gases at the alveoli capillary interface. Um, the exchange of gases between capillary and the muscles, whilst that is diffusion, it's not pulmonary diffusion, so it's not part of the acute respiratory responses. So just a quick recap that all those acute respiratory responses are going to increase in order to get that increased O2 to the muscles. Well, I hope that's helped you make um, help make the acute respiratory responses a little bit simpler. We hope we made it as simple as A, B, C. Um, we have plenty more videos at our website, um, plenty of study notes, tutorials, and we're going to do some seminars at the end of the year, which we really look forward to meeting you guys in person. Uh, if you like what you see, please chuck us a like on Facebook or Instagram. Um, other than that, we hope that helps you through any questions, and we will see you soon. Cheers.